So Google just announced their PAM2 AI and I have a video about that. But this video is about how Google is incorporating uh, PAM P A L M two into their search engines. Now, for now, this is in beta. This is for a few people who sign up to it. But how will this work? Search generative experience, also known as SGE, will be available in labs along with some other experiments, and they'll be rolling out in the coming weeks. If you're in the U.S., you can join the waitlist today. By you know, within the next six, seven months, be rolling this out of beta. And then by next year, this time around, this will be uh, available to most users as uh, and it will because they're trying to compete against Bing. This video, I'll just go into Google's presentation, uh, which was, I think, last night. And I'll, I will show you specifically what Google is trying to do. So our friendly Google CEO went on stage a few hours ago and you know talked about how this will replace essentially uh, the search snippets that are currently on Google search. Let's start with a search for what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches. Now, search does the heavy lifting for you. What you see here looks pretty different. So let me first- Moving from being a search engine to an, an AI engine, uh, essentially. So they're gonna scrape all your data and they're gonna present it in this way so that people don't need to go on, scroll below, click on your website, you know, click on your affiliate link. There's no need to do that because Google will eliminate the need for it. So take a look at this. Say you're searching for a good bike for a five mile commute with hills. In the AI-powered snapshot, you'll see important considerations like motor and battery for taking on those hills and suspension for a comfortable ride. Right below that, you'll see products that fit the bill, each with images, reviews, helpful descriptions, and current pricing. Right under the snapshot, you'll see the option to ask a follow-up question or select a suggested next step. Tapping any of these options will bring you into a brand new conversational mode. You know, there's the snippet that's been generated by AI. And then on the right, you have these three products or four products or maybe six products that Google might recommend. And this will be from mainly big name brands. So you know, there's gonna be big branded websites that get that win this feature snippet because there are a lot more to it. And I'll have a separate video about how this is gonna be done or how I think this is gonna be done is more, is more appropriately, uh, how I think this is gonna be done. Mainly so, for now, 40% of the above the fold is gonna be taken up by AI and a few selected products that Google, that the AI sees as being the best of the best products. And then below that, you're gonna have the option to, the user is gonna have the, have the option to uh, click to find out more about those products and it's just gonna generate more and more AI generated content and take people towards websites, primarily that are paying for advertising. And advertising is also gonna be more expensive moving forward. Uh, because there's going to be a lot more competition and the reason for that is people are not going to scroll below the fold now in my experience people don't go below uh the fifth number fifth on your uh, on search results so if they if they can find what they want to find uh on the top five uh, search results they're not going to go to six seven and eight uh because that's below the fold and so if 40 percent of the real estate is take been taken by uh ai uh, Ninety percent of the people are not going to scroll below that. They're just going to use AI and get the job done and go away. So, what essentially Google is doing is taking your information, repurposing it, uh, presenting it to people, not paying you a single dime for it, and then making sure that people never ever visit your website again. But that you are caught up in this vicious vicious cycle of generating content in the hopes that Google will <laughs> someday rank your website and someday your website will appear, but it's not gonna happen, at least the way, uh, this is the way, this is the direction that they're taking. Now the upshoot to this is that AI is not great. Uh, it, it does not do a great job. And during my testing, we limited testing with Google Bard and even OpenAI and all these other AI models is, is that they don't work as advertised for the vast majority of people that who are who's gonna use it. So reliability is a, is a problem, so people might just Figure that out and scroll below the AI content, but I don't see that happening. CEO is not dead because there are still spots, as you can see, especially the one that I have over here. 
this is this this is going to be the most coveted spot and this is going to be something that you will want to win and if you win this spot you will be you'll get a lot more traffic than anyone else in your niche but how google will roll this out how long it will take for them to roll this out is anyone's guess thank you for watching this video once again if this scares you don't be scared because we i've heard this for the past 15 years that seo is dead every time there's a new update we keep hearing that seo is dead but seo is not dead it just changes evolves and then you have to become better than the next person your website has to be better optimized and so when you do that you're essentially ranking ahead of that other person and so we're not going to see seo dying but if you like the video like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video